Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're finding these videos useful and subscribing to the channel. In today's session on uh, Azure, I'm here to talk about uh, hub and spoke deployment and uh, why you should be using this architecture. Now, hub and spoke deployment is pretty common, and there are some of the benefits which I want to highlight is because generally what happens when you deploy these resources in the environment, they might need to share some services. For example, they might need to share the DNS, they might need to share the domain services. So all these services, uh, they might need to share, but you also need to maybe segment that. So one virtual network might be having a product, product environment. The second one might be having the testing a dev kind of environment, you might need to segment that, but at the same time, you want to manage that from one single virtual network. And that is what you will see this on the diagram. So what I've done is, uh, and that is what we're gonna configure. You might be having this hub virtual network right over here. And then you might be having multiple spoke. In this case, I have uh, specified spoke A and spoke B, and these are all on separate virtual network and you can peer them and at the same time you can also configure uh, gateway transit so basically rather than deploying gateway in each of the virtual network you can uh, configure uh, gateway transit so that you don't need to uh, deploy a gateway or vpn gateway in all these virtual network now this makes the management much more easier and also you can integrate this with on-prem infrastructure by using site-to-site -site vpn connectivity or by using express route uh, we will not be configuring anything that you see on the left side so we're not going to configure today site-to-site -site or express route or even point to site the only thing that we will be concentrating is on the right side so we'll be deploying the hub virtual network we'll configure the spoke a uh, virtual network and spoke b will peer that and will also enable the uh, gateway transit in that case so that's that's the agenda for today so on hub vnet i'm going to give the virtual network space will be 10.0.16 for the spoke a is going to be 10.1 for spoke piece will be 10.2.0.0 slash 16 and we'll see how it is uh, to be deployed and we'll be also deploying the gateway uh, vpn gateway the virtual network gateway in the environment so with that let me just flip over to my azure portal the first thing as we all do we'll uh, create a resource group and I'll be deploying just to keep it simple I will be deploying all this infrastructure in one resource group so I'll name this but if you want obviously you can deploy a multiple resource group if you want resource group was created successfully the second thing that we will be doing is create three virtual networks so let me go to virtual network click on that Click on create. So this will be the first virtual network. That will be the hub VNet in which we'll be deploying our gateway. So let let that uh, create. Hub VNet is up. Let's add the two spoke VNet. We'll create the first one, which is spoke A. That's the name I will give it. Deploy this in the same resource group. Canada Central. Click on Create. And while that is getting deployed, I'll deploy one more with the name Spoke B.
So all the three virtual networks are up. So let's go to the hub VNet and uh, we'll create another subnet in which we'll be deploying our gateway. So if I go on the gateway, uh, go on the virtual network and the setting go to subnet, there is an option of gateway subnet. And it will automatically take the zero block. And let me click on OK. So it's adding the subnet for the gateway. It was added successfully and let's do a search for virtual network gateway and here it is let me go and click on that need to give a name region is all canada central will be a VPN route based you can choose different SKUs you want we'll use the default and for the virtual network we'll be deploying this in hub vnet and we need to give a name for the public IP of our gateway review and create and click on the create button now this process will run about half an hour so let me just pause the video Okay, so as you can see, the gateway was deployed successfully. So what we have done so far is we have uh, created a virtual network for our hub. We also uh, deployed two spoke, spoke A and spoke B, and we have uh, deployed the gateway. So most of the stuff is already done. So what the final step that we're going to do is to do the pairing between the hub virtual network and the spoke A and spoke B. So what we're going to do is for that, I will go and expand the virtual network. Go into my hub VNet. And if you scroll down under settings, you have the peering option. So let me go inside that and let's go and click on add. And in this, you need to give the name for the peering. Specify the virtual network with which you want to peer. In this case, it will be spoke A. And we'll configure the virtual network access setting. So allow virtual network access from hub VNet to spoke A. So we'll enable both of them. And if you want to read more, it makes it easier. Uh, Microsoft makes it easier. As you can see, if you just hover your mouse on this exclamation mark over here, it will tell you select this option if you want to allow communication between two virtual network. So that is okay. We're not gonna do any forward traffic settings in this case, but we want gateway transit. So I will check this box and click on OK. And it is adding the virtual network pairing for us. And we'll do the same thing for the uh, spoke B. So while that is getting done, what I'm gonna do is I'll go and click on Add. And uh, same way, I'll just pair that with the spoke B virtual network. Enable both virtual network access settings. Also allow gateway transit, click on OK. And it is also adding the virtual network pairing for spoke B. So pairing with both the spokes are done successfully and you can see that the gateway transit is enabled. So it means uh, it was configured. And if I go under spoke A, for example, and go under pairing, you'll see that uh, it is showing in connected state. Gateway transit is disabled in this case, so because we only want from our hub VNet, so that is okay. And if I go and do the same thing for my spoke B, you'll see that uh, under the pairing, I have that in a connected state. And if you wanna further look into, you can see that the virtual network name, it is enabled and it is using the remote gateway. So everything seems to be fine. So what we have done is we have configured the virtual network at all the three locations. We deployed the gateway, we configured the peering, right? And we also enabled the gateway transit. So in this case, we don't need to deploy a gateway uh, in all the virtual network. And as I said earlier in the video that uh, this gives us all the benefits, so rather than managing 
from multiple virtual network hub and spoke uh, architecture we can share the services with multiple spokes if i want to add a spoke c i can do that too i can add multiple spokes in this one and allow us to share services all from hub virtual network so this was a quick video on how to deploy hub and spoke in azure i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day